What's up everyone, Cheetah here, and today I'm bringing you an achievement walkthrough for Death Park. This game is published by uh, Pixar Games, and it's developed by Euphoria Games, and you can pick it up today for a price of $5.99. And to get the full completion, it'll take you around 25 to 35 minutes following along with this video. So this is a uh, horror game where we wake up in an abandoned amusement park, and our goal is to escape the park, but there's this uh, creepy clown that walks around and tries to kill us. And we have to avoid it by running away or hiding and overall it's actually pretty spooky and pretty fun so before you start the game the first thing you want to do is make sure you change your difficulty to easy that way you can save as many times as you want and you also get an extra life and overall it just makes the uh, clown a lot easier to avoid all right so once we gain control of our character here the very first thing i highly recommend doing is pausing and turning your sensitivity all the way up because it is very very slow and you can also check the uh, controls there on the left side of the screen in the pause menu. So starting off, the very first thing that we need to do is we need to uh, hide under the bed. So look at the bed, press A to uh, hide under it, and we're going to get this little cutscene here. Alright, so once he's gone, you can get out from under the uh, bed here and turn around and pick up this first collectible clown on the uh, nightstand and then open it up and pick up the key. And then from there you can turn around and you're gonna see this uh, little sack of gold on the uh, desk over here. And basically what this is, there's like a, a store that you can access from the main menu and you can buy some upgrades. It's kind of pointless during your uh, first playthrough. So I'm not gonna really be pointing out any of the uh, gold. But uh, from there we can head over to the uh, door, press Y to open up your inventory and then press A to uh, use the key on the door and head through. All right, so head up the stairs, you can sprint using the uh, right trigger. And whatever you do, do not pick up this ticket right here. If you do, that's gonna spawn in the clown. We're actually gonna run around the park for a little bit and pick up some collectibles before we spawn him in. So head down this uh, road here and go behind this little amusement boat ride or whatever and head behind these uh, trees and there's gonna be a bench on the right side next to the uh, fence. Go ahead and pick up this clown right here. And then we can continue off to the left in front of this uh, little bumper cart area. And then we're going to head into the uh, trees, kind of off to the right, and head, in, head back in here. And don't worry, there's not going to be any spooky things just yet since we haven't spawned in the clown. So head back here, take a left kind of, and go out towards the uh, road. Basically, you want to hug this giant tent on your right side. So head over here and head under this little tent, and there's going to be a, another clown sitting on this box. Go ahead and pick that up, and then turn to your left, and you should see like this little hut next to some like gated fences or whatever. Head around this uh, little building here. You can actually go inside this building and there's a save station if you ever wanna save at any point, but we need to pick up this clown right here on this barrel. So go ahead and pick that up and then turn to your right, head down this road and you're gonna see a staircase here on the left side. Head up here, turn to the right and go up on this uh, little trailer here and pick up this clown. So once you have that clown, you can actually hide under this uh, little trailer or train car, whatever you want to call it. I'm not really sure, but there's a bunch of these scattered around the park and you can actually hide under them to uh, avoid the clown if you ever need to. So next up, we're going to pick up this photo here on the bench next to the uh, projector. And then we're going to pull up our inventory and place that photo into the uh, projector. And then from there, we can turn around and head back down the uh, stairs that we came from. So head over here, head down the uh, staircase, take a left, and go behind the uh, back left side of this carousel back here next to the uh, little trailer. And over towards the fence, there's going to be some cement blocks with the next collectible clown. Go ahead and pick that up. And then from there, we're going to turn over to the uh, left and head over towards the uh, ticket booth. And we're going to pick up the ticket, but be careful. As soon as we pick up the ticket, the clown is going to uh, spawn in. And he randomly walks around the park, and you'll be able to tell if he's close by because your heart rate will start to beat rapidly. And if he sees you, you can actually outrun him, and you can hide and everything. And overall, he's pretty easy to avoid. But if he gets you, you're going to respawn back in the uh, bedroom, and you'll just continue from where you left off. So head down here and uh, follow this path all the way over to this uh, little train station. And we're going to go back behind the uh, controls and we're going to place our ticket in here. So go ahead and place that. And then from there, you're going to get a little cutscene. And if you want, you can skip it by pressing A. So uh, turn around and follow the uh, tracks here behind us. And at the end, there's going to be some uh, planks that we can pick up. So head down here, pick up these uh, planks and then turn around and follow the uh, train tracks. And for me, my clown was actually over to the left side walking along the uh, street. So 
I had to uh, stop here for a few seconds and just uh, wait for him to leave. You can also hide under that trailer there on the right side. So we're going to head up the uh, staircase here and continue forward. And there's going to be a little bridge up here where we need to uh, place our planks. So place your planks right here. Walk across the uh, bridge and pick up this bottled water on the bench. And then turn around and we're going to head back down the stairs and we're going to turn to the left. And we're going to go on the uh, carousel and over on the right side of the carousel. There's going to be a little bloody horse and we need to uh, wash him off with the uh, water. So use the water on the side of that uh, horse there to uh, get the number. And then from there you can skip the uh, cutscene. And we can turn around and exit the uh, carousel and head over to the uh, left side. And back here there's going to be a building that we need to uh, interact with. So head back here. My clown actually ended up spotting me. I'm just going to run away from him because he's pretty easy to avoid. So head back here. Interact with the uh, keypad here to unlock the door and then you can press A to uh, head through the door and personally for me I did a uh, little loop-de-loop -loop since my clown was chasing me but unlock the door using the uh, keypad and then head through and this section is probably the uh, worst part of the game so I would actually recommend pausing your game for just a few seconds here just so I can show you this so we're going to head over to the right side down this hallway, open up the door and directly in front of you, you should see that little uh, wardrobe there. You can actually hide inside of it to avoid the clown. So for me, the clown was coming down the uh, hallway and I had to hide in the wardrobe, which this part is gonna suck to follow along with since again, the clown's movements are completely random. So he's gonna be in different spots for you. But once the clown is gone and the coast is clear, you wanna head down this uh, hallway here all the way to the end. And we're gonna take a left into the uh, first door right here i recommend closing the door behind you so head in here close the door and then open up this nightstand next to the uh, bed pick up the key and then turn to your right and there's also another little wardrobe here that you can hide in if you need to we're going to head into the uh, bathroom and we're going to pick up this photo on the uh, sink there and then turn around and there's a clown up here that you can pick up on top of that bookshelf make sure you get that and then head down here and you can actually save your game so quickly make a save so now if the uh, clown captures you instead of starting back at your uh, bedroom, if you just quit out your game and then continue, you'll actually load back up with that save, which is very helpful. So head out into the uh, hallway here and head to the end and we're going to go upstairs here. So head up the stairs and then we need to unlock this door with our key. So pull up your inventory, use the key on the store and then head through and hopefully you avoided the clown. All right, so this section is actually uh, really annoying. So. We have to uh, run away from this clown. I actually, again, recommend pausing your game here. So there's going to be a clown chasing section where he's going to spawn behind us and we have to uh, quickly run away from him. So as soon as you spawn, you want to uh, turn around quickly and then we're going to take this first right and then we're going to turn to the left and we have to avoid these obstacles here and then crouch under this pipe using B. Continue forward, take a left and then uh, run through these barrels and take another left and then take a right and then continue forward, take a right crouch under this thing and we're going to go through the door on the left side open it up using a head down here and then we're going to take a another right and then we're going to take a another left head through the door and we're done with that section so that part is super annoying because if you get caught he will respawn you back at the uh, bedroom so next up you want to do a little circle and then stand in the uh, center skulls right here and then it says turn back we can turn back and open up the door and once you're in here, you need to do a little uh, 360 to make the skulls on the ground appear and then stand in the uh, middle of the skulls and then again do another 360 until you see the writing on the wall. Once you see the writing on the wall, you need to uh, crouch for this one and then turn around and you should see the door behind you and you can head through. And then again in here, we're going to have to uh, do another 360. So open up the two, two doors, do a 360 until you see the skulls appear on the ground, stand in them. And then uh, do another 360 until you see the writing on the uh, wall. And this time we have to uh, look up and get jump scared. And then from there, there's going to be a little staircase that we can head down behind us. So head down this uh, staircase here. Head through the door and do another 360 until the skulls appear. Stand in the uh, center of the skulls. And then once it says exit is behind, we have to back up. Don't turn around, just completely back up. Walk backwards. And if you do it correctly, you should walk into this uh, little hallway. And then you can open up the door behind you. If not, if you mess it up, you'll have to uh, repeat that little section. So once you're in here, pick up the uh, screwdriver and the photo from this uh, little thing here. And then from there, you should see uh, writing on the wall that says death is the way out. And so we need to head through the door on the uh, left here that says death, head through here, 
Once you're in the uh, next room, do another 360 until you see the uh, writing on the wall that says give up. And then from there, we're going to head to the door that says defeat over here on the right side. Head through. And then again, we're going to do another 360 until we see the writing. And this time it says close to death. So we're going to go through the uh, rebirth door. And then again, do another 360 until you see the writing. And this time we're going to head to the door that says murder. And I believe we're going to be done with this uh, little annoying section here. So head to the door. We're going to get another loading screen and we're going to be back in the uh, little hallway area. So if you turn around, we can head through the door behind us. And we're actually going to make another save in here. So head in here, make a save just in case if you want to. Personally, I'm going to. All right. And next up, we're going to head back into the uh, hallway here. And we need to head all the way down to the end. And then we're going to take a right where my uh, clown went. So head down here again. I recommend not sprinting or else the clown might hear you. So head down here and then we need to take a left at the end of this hallway here and there's going to be a door on the left side and we need to head in there. It's kind of like a uh, library. So head in here and follow this path to the end and we're going to have to crouch under a uh, bookshelf and there's actually a flashlight in this room that I highly recommend not picking up. I'm not really sure if the game is glitched, but you can't really scroll through your inventory if you get over five items. So I highly recommend not picking up the flashlight or it's going to be a pain later. So interact with this uh, vent here, pull up your inventory and use the screwdriver on the vent and then uh, crouch down and head through. And then there's going to be another vent here that we need to uh, use our screwdriver on. So head through here, turn to your left, pick up this key and then use that key to unlock the door. But don't head through. We're actually going to turn around and head down into the uh, basement down here. So head down here. So head down here, turn to the uh, right, and I actually recommend sprinting since the clown isn't down here yet. So head down this uh, hallway here, and then take a left, and then a right, head into this uh, doorway here, pick up the valve on the floor next to the save machine. Feel free to uh, make a save if you want to. And then if you turn to your right, there's a uh, locker right here that you can hide in if you need to uh, get away from the clown. So exit the room, turn to the uh, right, and head down here towards this steam. And we're going to take a uh, left, and I'm no longer sprinting anymore because the clown might be down here and he can hear us. So head all the way down this uh, hallway here to the end, and we're actually going to take a right, and it's going to be like a little dead end. But there's a pipe on the wall that we need to uh, combine the valve onto right here. So pull up your inventory, place the valve on this pipe, and then make sure you spin the valve, and then head back down the way we came to the uh, steam. <clears throat> and the steam's going to be gone now, so we're going to take a left into this uh, room here. There's actually a locker on the left side of this room that we can hide in right here so pick up this crowbar on the left side and again feel free to hide if you need to but make sure you also pick up this clown right there and then from there we're going to head back out into the uh, hallway here and we're going to go into this little middle section here be very careful because the clown is somewhere around here so head in here and we're going to take a left and there's going to be another room that we can head into over here on the left head in here there's going to be two items that we can pick up and there's also a locker in here if you need to hide so pick up the uh, chain right there and then pick up the photo and now we can actually go back upstairs so if the coast is clear you can run but if he's somewhere near you don't run so head upstairs and we're going to go through the door up here and we're going to take a left and i'm sprinting now because he's downstairs so head down here take a right and we're going to go to the room all the way at the end of the hallway up here to the right head in here close the door and there's a uh, bed on the back left that you can hide under if you need to there's also a clown right here that you need to pick up make sure you pick that up and then head over here to the door and use the uh, crowbar on the door and then head inside here open up this little cabinet and pick up the pills and apologies if i'm going pretty fast here guys again this is kind of a uh, fast paced game and there's a lot to say at once so once this uh, little cutscene's over we need to open up this uh little move this crate or whatever shelf and then uh use your screwdriver to open up the vent and head through and you need to be pretty quick because we're uh, dying so head through there and then drop down and continue forward into the uh, hallway in front of us and over here if you go to the left there's a door and you can make a save in there but for me i'm personally not going to do that i'm going to take a right and head down this uh, hallway here take a uh, another right and then we're going to hug this uh, right side and there's going to be a door on the right side and we can head in here so turn to the right head in here close the uh, door and on the desk there's going to be a key pick that key up and then behind the desk, under it, there's going to be a collectible. And there's also a wardrobe that you can hide in here if you need to. So exit the room, turn to the right, turn to the right again, and then exit the uh, through the two double doors here.
And now that we're out here, we're going to head to this uh, little hut in front of us on the right. And we're actually going to head in here and make a uh, quick save. So make a save. And then from there, we're going to head up the uh, stairs behind us towards the uh, little projector screen. So head out down the road here, follow this path, and then take a left up the uh, stairs. And now we're going to place one of our uh, little slides or photos into the uh, projector. And you can only place one at a time. So place one of them in there. Doesn't matter which one. And then we're going to hide under the uh, little train car here just so the uh, clown doesn't get us. And then once this uh, little photo is done playing on the uh, projector, we're gonna place another one. So head back out, quickly uh, place another photo and then go back to uh, hiding. And then we're gonna repeat that for the uh, last one. So wait till it's done playing for a little bit here and then uh, place the uh, final slide in there. And then we can continue down the opposite staircase over here. So. Head down this staircase and then take a right and we're going to kind of follow this road until we get to the uh, little boat ride back here. So head back here and eventually you should see a boat ride. And then behind that is a uh, little fence gate and we're going to interact with this uh, fence gate here. And we're going to use the chain on the fence. So place that and then turn to your right and head over here behind this uh, little train car. And you're going to see this little, I guess, ice cream stand. We're going to unlock the uh, back side of it with our key. So open it up. And there's going to be some meat in here. Go ahead and pick up that meat. And it should automatically combine the uh, sleeping pills with the meat. And then from there, we can turn to the right. And we can kind of hug this uh, fence here. And head behind the little boat. And follow this path for a little bit. And then we need to uh, head in front of the uh, bumper cars area. And then we're going to take a right into the uh, trees back here. So head back here. And there's going to be a uh, sleeping dog in this little dog house. And on the uh, side of it, right here, we need to place the... Uh, the steak or whatever, the meat with the uh, sleeping pills, and it's going to put the uh, dog to sleep, and then we can head into the, into the uh, tent here and pick up the scissors on this box, and then to the left of that, it's kind of hard to see, but there's another collectible in that box, pick that up, and then turn to your left and head around this uh, gate and pick up the uh, lock right here, and then we can exit this tent, and we're going to turn to the uh, left and head over here and basically you want to hug this tent on your right side and we're going to follow it all the way around to the uh, right side so you kind of have to cut out into the uh, road here for a few but cut out into the road and then hug the uh, right side and head back in here and on the uh, back right of this tent there's going to be a little cut that we can actually cut with our uh, scissors so open this uh, little stitching here with the scissors and head through All right, so in this section, just uh, follow this path here. Open up the vent with your screwdriver. And then uh, head through. And on the right side on this uh, bookshelf here, pick up the uh, slide or the photo, whatever you want to call it. And then head over here to the uh, left and pick up this alarm clock. And if you want, you can go ahead and make a save. And now that we have that uh, photo, we actually have to head back out to the uh, little projector. So head back through the vent and then exit through the door all the way on the uh, other side. All right, and now we need to uh, sneak to the uh, projector. So head over here to the left towards the uh, street. Take a left and follow this path down here until we get to the uh, staircase on the right side. Head up the uh, staircase here and quickly place the uh, photo or the slide into the uh, projector. And then we're going to head back the exact way we came back to the uh, tent. So turn around, head down the uh, staircase, take a left and then follow this road all the way over to the uh, back right side of the tent and then head through the little hole that we cut. And in this section, again, just uh, crawl through the uh, vent.
All right, so next up, we're gonna have a uh, little clown boss fight here. So I would actually recommend making a, another save here before you head into this uh, next room. So basically, we're gonna have a little boss fight and we need to uh, trap this clown in a little cage. So unlock this uh, door here. And before we do anything, we're actually gonna get the uh, collectible over here on the left side. So open up the door, head over here on the uh, back left and pick up the uh, collectible. And then next up, once we pick up this chain here in the center of the room, that's gonna kind of start the uh, boss fight. And the first phase is actually uh, really easy. So once you pick up this chain here, it's gonna activate the boss fight and the room is gonna get dark and it's gonna kind of turn, in, turn into an arena. And basically all you really have to do is just run around in circles and dodge the uh, clown. He's gonna be kind of spawning in front of you and charging you and it's honestly uh, super easy. But the uh, second phase is a little bit tricky. So for the first phase, you honestly can't really die. I've actually tried, I let him hit me and I didn't even die, but just uh, run around in circles, avoid the uh, clown here for a bit. And then once we get to the uh, second phase, I'm gonna have you pause your game just to see the uh, strategy so you can guarantee yourself to get the good ending. All right, so this is gonna be the uh, second stage here in just a second. The uh, lights are gonna turn back on and I'd actually recommend just uh, pausing your game real quick just so you can see the uh, strategy. So there's this uh, cage here with the uh, two levers and we need to uh, trap the clown inside. So he's moving around really slow. So head around to the uh, back side here and lure him into the cage. Once he's in the cage, quickly pull both of the uh, two levers there to trap him inside. And if you do that correctly, that's going to uh, kill the clown here once you pull the third lever over on the left side. If you don't do it on your first attempt, you're just going to have another little cycle of running around in the uh, darkness with the clown charging or whatever. But you have infinite attempts at that. But if the clown does grab you, you'll just wake up back in the uh, bedroom and you'll get the uh, bad ending, which I'm pretty sure it doesn't affect the achievements. But just try to trap him in there. And uh, if you do that correctly, you're going to get the uh, good ending and you wake up back in the uh, bedroom and you can head out here down to the uh, boat ride back here. And we're going to combine the uh, second chain onto the uh, little circle part of this boat here. So open up your inventory, use the uh, chain, and then we need to connect the uh, two chains using the uh, lock right here. So combine those and then we can head over to the uh, boat controls to uh, activate it. So pull the uh, lever and that's going to rip the uh, fence down and we can head through. And now we can head over here to the uh, Ferris wheel and we're going to interact with this uh, little booth here. But before we do that, we need to pick up this uh, clown here. That should be your 13th and your final clown. And you should now have all 13 of them for the achievement. And now we can interact with the uh, levers here and we're going to pull the middle one and then the right one. And then the left one and that's going to activate the uh, ferris wheel and now we can go ahead and get on the ride so head over here get on the uh, ride and ride it up And once you get to the uh, top here, you can head across the uh, bridge all the way to the end until you get to a door. So head through the door here and we're going to be back in the uh, bedroom. And next up, we need to place the alarm clock on the nightstand next to the bed. So open up your inventory and select the clock and place it right there. And that's actually going to be the uh, end of the game and you should now have your full completion. However, you might be missing one last achievement called the end and that achievement unlocks for dying and running out of all of your uh, lives. So if you still need that achievement, what I recommend doing is just starting up a uh, new game on the extreme difficulty since on extreme you only have three lives. So 
what you want to do is basically just uh, play through the game, pick up the uh, ticket at the very start to uh, spawn in the clown, and then find him and let him kill you. And then when you respawn back in the uh, bedroom, just find him again and repeat that process until you run out of all three of your lives. And that'll be your final achievement called the end. Also, sometimes the uh, clown doesn't respawn until you progress through the game. So you might have to uh, do the objectives a little bit to uh, get him to respawn. But once you run out of all three of your lives, that will be your final achievement. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video if it was helpful. And please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.